Hey guys, what is up? My name is Vlad and welcome to my reaction to The Good Place. This is the fourth episode of the second season of The Good Place. And previously we had a new team cockroach. Uh, Michael teaming up with our four main characters. And now they're gonna try to deceive Vicky, who is now in control of this bad place. Uh, yeah, we have a new attempt. I believe it's 803 or 804 but uh, uh, our characters didn't lose memory and they have to act as if they don't know that this is a bad place but uh, also they have to you know act like they're suffering so I guess this episode is gonna be about lying hiding deceiving so the usual stuff and uh, let's just start and based on my surveillance our four humans don't suspect anything yeah because we're killing it <laughs> you sure are here are the torture I also Winston over here already came up with a sick idea for how to torture Tahani we're gonna have Tahani throw a party for Gunner's birthday but no one will show up because we'll also be throwing a party and it'll be way better <laughs> Where do you get these incredible ideas? Yeah, that one just came to me. It just like popped right into my noodle. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> these millennials, they have no work ethic. Okay, oh, boomer. Sorry, uh, a millennial is someone who's only been torturing people for a thousand years. Millennial. Is that what we should call you, demon? Well, I mean, it's not really accurate, and we consider it to be a little racist, but it's fine. Well, um, let's start are you our then? first lesson. Tahani and demon. Mason, well, I've read everything on your syllabus, and uh, how do I put this delicately? It's all stupid garbage. Look, we have to start nice. somewhere. It's where you're best at. Just like I'm the best at getting empty water bottles to stay on the roof of a pizza hut. You know what? I what? am the best at planning parties. Vicky may be some demonic torturer from the netherworld, but... Does she have taste, sophistication, an encyclopedic knowledge of traditional and avant-garde Belgian floral design? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. What if I throw a pun? When they realize they could have come to my party, they'll be sad. I won't be sad. They'll be sad. Janet, hey there. Janet, when I turned eight... You forked this up! I knelt in front of Princess Grace's dress mausoleum, modeled tonight's decor after my 2008 fundraiser for the Red Cross in Zurich. No. 2007. Ooh, whatever that means. I'm gonna be the velociraptor. You trying to say valedictorian? No. That's what you used to think about. I used to think about how it's weird. They don't make pants that are just one big pant leg for both your legs. What you mean a skirt? skirt? Uh, uh, no. Yeah. Th you're not getting it, and my thing. Is there any way that you can die? Yeah. Actually, there is, and it's called retirement. It's rare, but when one of us really screws something up... And uh, what happens, exactly? Well, I said a different sun. Sure. So is, is that what would happen sure. if your boss found out that you defected to our side? Yeah. Okay. Think about that. Huh. So, no... Me? Like the painting screen. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Where? Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> Can I get you a snack? You eat. You are a cool ranch baby. Searching for meaning is philosophical suicide. I don't see any place to end this. I don't know, man. And the fleeting nature of existence. I'm just crabby. So Doggy Mac has passed away. You know what that means? Well, sometimes... Did you run it with the car? Very old, like five or six or something. He crosses a long rainbow bridge. And at the... How did he die? The short answer is, I don't know. And the slightly longer answer is, I didn't know how hot it gets in cars sometimes. The point is, it's been a very long day, and that big car stopped doing stupid things that I don't even know what it was. And at the end of the day, I used one of my favorite duffel bags to do something very gross that I 
What the? Now, let's celebrate that dead dog's life by bringing them another bottle of white. Come on. I outdid myself, but I'm always as good. But I did. Did myself. Oh, God. Keep it in your pants. Art is a mere distraction from the relentlessness of entropy. We're all just corpses who haven't yet begun to decay. Yeah, but. Balloons! It's good to split time. The entire party are going to be heading over here soon. <laughs> Unless I am sorely mistaken. <laughs> you are sorely mistaken. A bear! Yep. Okay, bud, would it plaster on a fake smile and pretend you're having fun, okay? Just like I used to do when someone started talking about their kids. <laughs> or just Hello, token. Wow. Find stations over there if you want to fly like a falcon. Yeah! And over there we filled a What if I want to That's kick okay. like a winter soldier? Oh, and have you ever wanted to spit in a kangaroo's house? My whole thing, right? <laughs> so we can all hang out here for a bit and then we can honey, you just need to walk around the party looking miserable. Great, just like that. Perfect. Where's Michael? <laughs> uh, I think I found them. There they are. They pop up, muchacho. Midlife crisis. Hey, bud. You okay? Okay. I'm a new man. It's like a serpent on this wave of positivity. Is that Janet? Oh, yeah. Have you met my secretary, Jeanette? Jeanette? I like Janet, but she doesn't pretend like... Michael just asked that I change my appearance. And also, say things like... You're so funny. And so, how many quarterbacks are in a home run? <laughs> Man, repressing your feelings is crazy. How many? I was feeling stressed all the time. And or is it just so baseball easy. plus football? American football. She's perfectly moved on from existential crisis to just straight up midlife crisis. That's good, right? I mean, a ton of guys like But overall, they're pretty harmless. It's Chinese for Japan. <laughs> cool. No, no, this is worse i mean an ex hmm? is that her dad don't you understand this design sister sister oh, it's not gonna work it's my ex-husband's funeral thanks for blowing my cover doug listen baby don't be sad okay just saying he sucked i mean the only photo they could get of him was a mug shot he was <laughs> cute so don't be sad that he's gone i'm not sad i'm uh... You know, I had a long-running bet with Eleanor's father that I would outlive him. You want to guess who won that one? Come on, guess. Oh, we had a spin. It's pretty cool. I did. I won. He's dead. Up top. Sorry. Mark shot. Did my mom slip some cardboard towels on the floor? Yes. Come on. Yeah, she did. Don't think about that. Don't be sad, you guys. Focus on something great like Dracon Noir. Woo! We're dying. What can I like his I style. Die? By the way, I am feeling um this party is way better than ours. Why are you miserable? Oh. oh. I need to throw myself a kitchen party, though I doubt I can even throw one of those properly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Myrtle. God, I love this stuff. Mm -hmm. What now, huh? Want to hit the clubs? Oh, oh, oh. What clubs? Vegas. No, no, no. What no. Vegas? Dubai. <gasps> oh. Jeanette. Make us a Dubai. <laughs> Can't stop moving. If I stop moving, I'll start thinking. If I start thinking, I'll start thinking about things I don't want to think about, like death. <sighs> Oops. I'm thinking about it now. Um, Keep hard. Death again. Oh, I know. Jeanette and I. Been... Who has four toothbrushes? Like Bill Gates or something? No, that's like for a family. Two slots for the parent toothbrushes and two slots for the kids. Parent toothbrushes can. Close to the kids' toothbrushes and watch over them. And they can hold their little toothbrush hands when they're sad. <laughs> Why? Thank you for a family pact. <laughs> all humans are aware of death. So we're all a little bit sad. All the time. That's just the deal. Well, yeah, it is. But in the words of a very wise bed, bath, and beyond employee I once knew, go ahead and cry all you want. But you're gonna have to pay for that toilet paper jar. I just want to sit and stare at nothing. 
and silently scream for the rest of time. I might be way off base here, but you seem kind of bummed. I really thought I could throw a better party than a magical... I was in charge of a 60-person dance group. Whenever <laughs> we auditioned a new dancer, we would rate them in five categories. Dance mover, cool, dopey, fresh, <laughs> and smart girl. I would give you an eight in every category. But eight is bad, I suppose. It was a scale of one to 13, but eight was highest. The scale went up and then back down like a tent. Why? <laughs> not important and you're the most amazing person i've ever met but besides michael and he was constantly torturing us so i'd only write from a 10. which is worse than an eight but so unnecessarily confusing you point you're good at everything you're awesome from one eight i could move to another oh no <sighs> I thought it would be a cat and they're lying in the bed. Selfish monster creating burden for Chidi. I am grateful you sent me out of my funk. Well, now that you've become acquainted with existential crises, I thought we should read Death by philosopher Todd May. Should we wait for Tahani and Tasty? Where are those goofballs? Oh. So. Oh. <laughs> Okay, be right back. Nice. Nice. Okay, that was the fourth episode of the second season. Or the fifth? I'm kind of confused with that uh, double episode. Like it was 14 and 15 chapters, right? Does it make it uh, two episodes or just one episode? I'm kind of confused right now. But the episode uh, in general was very fun. Some midlife crisis Michael. That was hilarious. Uh, getting expensive cars. Uh, a young girlfriend. Uh, yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, at first, I thought that this scene with Tahani and Jason was kind of cute, just a little sweet scene. Uh, but uh, so when they took their glasses and like clinked, I thought it was going to be a cut. Like uh, I think it was like in uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine when uh, Jake and Amy started. Uh, on their first date or something like that I would have just thought of it and well uh, it wasn't but they got me okay that was that is fun so I guess uh, the next episode we're gonna deal with that just uh, sorting out feelings well Jason seems pretty straightforward he uh, he liked it well, Tahani also liked it, but who knows, maybe she will have some uh, doubts, who knows. And, uh, yeah, the other thing is uh, that scene where uh, Eleanor shears up Michael, trying to get him out of his crisis, kind of reminded me of the episode from the first season where he pretended that he was looking for the trouble in the good place and also had a crisis and she had to call him yeah kind of interesting and I wonder if uh, next couple of episodes we will see something like uh, we saw here with torture in Tahani by Vicky but uh, uh, to another character, like, will she torture Chidi somehow, or Eleanor? I mean, something more specific, or Jason. Yeah, so I think the next episode is going to be more lying, secrets, deceiving Vicky, uh, hiding, and 
just to try to sort out relationships. And I think that whole fake at first soulmates thing is kind of becoming real. Like uh, Eleanor and Shiri are practically soulmates, or at least very good friends. And now the Honey and Jason. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, but I guess this is it for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed my reaction, please give me some feedback. Write a comment or hit the like button or hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.